Tonight begins a series of lectures that will focus on our neighbors. Russia obviously comes first for various historical reasons. We are planning to have a lecture panel on Ukraine, Germany, uh, Hungary, and hope that by hearing people who are experts in those fields, we better understand changes most of us don't have enough time to follow the details of the changes. Our guest speaker today is Dr. Olga Fastunava. Am I butchering it? <laughs> <laughs> there is that little dot, probably the accent that I remember from my Russian classes. She's a Russian journalist and a researcher. She received her PhD from Womanosov University in Moscow and she practiced journalism in Russia. She came to the United States in 2010 to do research at Columbia University Harriman Institute and in 2012 she joined the Institute of Modern Russia. She works at the Institute as an editor and contributes to a number of articles, interviews and conducts research in Russian and English. As I was looking at the history of the Institute of Modern Russia, I could not notice that there are a lot of similarities. It was found recently, we were found in 1943, by a group of Russian and US lawyers, experts in policy, uh, policy and human rights activists who found themselves often in exile and were looking for home, a place, a platform to share their ideas. And that's what the Institute is about. It's focusing on providing the US in, uh, with a more nuanced information, knowledge, and understanding of today's Russia. The topic is very complex and today is just our first attempt to better understand Russia under Putin. Um, I just wanted to add that even though I work for the Institute of Modern Russia, which until recently has been supported by Mikhail Korokovsky, uh, when I will be talking about Russia today, I am not representing any institute views. So everything I say is uh, from my personal experience, from my personal um, background, and these are my personal views. So I just want to make it clear. Um, so I'm not promoting any messages, it's just how I personally understand what's going on inside my country. Um, so just maybe a few words about my background. So uh, like Ajana mentioned, I worked as a journalist. Um, I covered Russian politics and energy. I worked for a newspaper called Commerçant, which is one of the reputable um, kind of equivalent of the New York Times in Russia. Um, I came here in 2010 um, uh, to do research, like Pajama said, and I have been traveling a lot back and forth um, until recently because the organization I work for has been declared undesirable in Russia and therefore if I go back I might get arrested and go to jail, uh, which is why I'm stuck here in New York, um, which is not the worst place to be stuck at. Um, so this is uh, basically the current um, situation uh, for myself. So I'm going to now talk about Russia under Putin. 